Today on MTG Unpacked, we're taking a look at the Pioneer Gruel Stompy Challenger deck. So we had a look at Is It Phoenix earlier, so next up we have Big Stompy Creatures. Subtlety is not your strong suit. Drop a Mana Dork early on and deploy massive threats ahead of schedule. Their dragons and beasts will take it from there. So we have a 60 card deck, 15 card sideboard and deck box. Let's get into it. What witty saying do they have here? You've got a crush. All right, very funny. And these go for about 45 to 50 bucks US, so a bit pricier than normal. I like how they've got the shiny deck box here. And I think this would comfortably fit a sleeved deck if you take the divider out. All right, good to see. Okay, so we've got some tokens sideboard and a nice divider to keep your sideboard separated Ooh, questing beast i like this okay so that's the main deck let's take a look this is looking like the same poster we got in the other one so thalia guardian of thraben and a blatant advertisement for the other decks so leave a note in the comments which one are you most excited about, you think you would like to play it. Okay, so let's see if I can get into this any more efficiently, or have they tricked me? Yeah, they've totally tricked me. Here it is. So uh, we've got the Questing Beast. This is looking pretty promising. I remember when that was in Standard, that was a lot of fun. Really uh, game-changing card right there. So we've got a Mythic Questing Beast, Legendary Creature Beast 4-4 four, for four, 4, has Vigilance, Death Touch and Haste, and it can't be blocked by creatures with power 2 or less. Combat damage that will be dealt by creatures you control can't be prevented. And whenever Questing Beast deals combat damage to an opponent, it deals that much damage to target Planeswalker that player controls. Okay, so take care of any Planeswalkers as well. Ooh! Okay, I've changed my mind. This is my favorite deck. We've got Chandra, Torch of Defiance. Legendary Planeswalker Chandra at four, loyalty for four. I used to play this one all the time when it was in Standard. I think it cost me like 30 bucks a card or something back then. Uh, her plus one, X the top card of your library. You may cast that card. If you don't, Chandra, Torch of Defiance deals two damage to each opponent. Or the other plus one, you can add two red mana, minus three, deals four damage to target creature, minus seven. You get an emblem with, whenever you cast a spell, this emblem deals five damage to any target. Awesome card, this one, so two of those. Uh, next up, we've got Bone Crusher Giant, so another guy from Eldraine, Creature Giant, four, three, for three. So this card has two parts, you've got Stomp for one and a red, Instant Adventure, Damage can't be prevented this turn. Stomp deals 2 damage to any target. Or you can cast the... Whenever Bone Crusher Giant becomes a target of a spell, it deals 2 damage to that spell's controller. So you either cast it as a creature, or you cast it as an instant adventure, and then cast it again on a following turn for the second part. So how many of these? We've got a complete playset. That's what you need. Okay. Oh, another favorite. Glory Bringer. I used to play this one in the Armanket days. Nice. Creature Dragon 4-4 four, four, for 5. Flying in haste. You may exert Glory Bringer as it attacks. When you do, it deals 4 damage to target non-dragon creature an opponent controls. So exerting means uh, the exerted creature won't untap during your next untap step. What the initiates face in the final trial is completely at Hazaret's direction. Okay, so three, four of those, awesome, that's what you need. Love Struck Beast, Creature Beast Noble, five, five for three. Heart's Desire for a green sorcery adventure, create a one one white human creature token. Or the creature portion here, Love Struck Beast can't attack unless you control a one one creature. So this is uh, the same concept as the giant. So we've got four of those. Scavenging Ooze, Creature Ooze 2-2 two, two for 2, for a green exile target card from a graveyard, if it was a creature card, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Scavenging Ooze and you gain 1 life. And so far this is looking pretty close to the meta deck. 
Uh, we've got Carpluzen Forest, tap for colourless or tap for red or green, and it deals one damage to you. So you've got uh, complete play set of these, excellent. Stomping Ground, what? We've got Shocklands here, tap for red or green. As it enters the battlefield, you may pay two life. If you don't, it enters the battlefield tapped. Oh, just one. That's a bit miserly. Okay. Rock full veil. Enters battlefield tapped unless you control two or more other lands. Tap for red or green. Okay. And complete play set of those. What else? We have Mizium Mortars. Sorcery for two. It deals four damage to target creature you don't control. Has overload for three and three red. You may cast a spell for its overload costs. If you do, change target in its text to each. Okay, so we got stuff here. You're going to need a ton of mana. So how will we ramp up into that? We've got four of these. Uh, a braid for some removal. Instant for two. Choose one. It does three damage to target creature or destroy target artifact. So that one was from Hour of Dev. Okay, here we go. Here are the so-called mana dorks. Because uh, you tap them for mana. Lanawar Elves, the most famous of all. Creature Elf Druid. 1-1 one, one for a single green. Tap for green. So we should get four of these. That is exactly right. And here's another one. Elvish Mystic. Creature Elf Druid. 1-1 one, one for a single green. Tap for green. Okay. And these are the sorts of things you want to remove if your opponent has those ASAP. Okay. Then some mana. We have Mountains. Seven of those. Forests. Nine of those. Okay. So looking pretty spicy indeed. Okay, so let's take a look at the sideboard. Okay, there is actually a little pull tab thing. So the sideboard is what you bring out once you've had your first game. You do a best of three. And then you might mix some of these cards in. Swap out other ones depending on what your opponent is playing. So this is Sin Divines. Enchantment for two whenever an opponent casts a non-creature spell. Sin Divines deals one damage to that player for one. Sack it. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. It deals two damage to that permanent's controller. So really if you're up against um, non-creature spells or enchantments or artifacts. Shifting Ceratops. Creature Dinosaur 5-4 four for four. This spell can't be countered and it has protection from blue. Creature can't be blocked, targeted, dealt damage, enchanted, or equipped by anything blue. And for a green, it gains your choice of reach, trample, or haste until end of turn. Okay, so if you want another beefy creature, you can add that guy. Three of those. Rending Volley, instant for a single red. It can't be countered by spells or abilities. It deals four damage to target white or blue creature. Okay, so some creature removal right there. Three of those. Another copy of a braid, okay. Flame Blessed Bolt, instant for a single red. It deals two damage to target creature or planeswalker. If that creature or planeswalker would die this turn, exile it instead. Okay, so three, four of those, all right. And now we will take a look at the tokens. So what are we looking for? Uh, humans, what else? I can't remember what else we had here. We've got a 1-1 one, one human, and on the other side, okay, so this is for the uh, the the Lovestruck Beast, is it? So, th oh, what's that? It's the same thing, okay. So a whole bunch of those. So we have five humans in total, blank cards for any double-sided ones, so a bunch of these. Uh, normally you would play with sleeves, though, for a pricier deck like this. Okay, so this deck actually looks really nice. Um, I changed my mind. I think I like it better than Is It Phoenix. If you like your big stompy creatures, like to do a ton of damage and ramp up to them ultra fast, this is the deck for you. Leave a note in the comments what you think about it. Is this something you'd plan to pick up? And this is another one I think is pretty close to the current meta game. And stay tuned, we've got two more Pioneer decks to come. Hope everybody's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.